this video is just going to show you how to model a sine function using data. So we're going to do the um, example shown in the Hayes and Harris book to um, model the mean monthly temperature. So here we've got every month, January to December, and their mean temperature. So we want to find the sine function that models that. Now, um, so I've entered the data into my Excel spreadsheet. So using just numbers for the months, so 1 to 12. And then I've put their corresponding temperatures in. Okay, so now I'm ready to find a sine function. So I go menu, statistics, stat calculations, sinusoidal regression. Okay, my X list is in fact A, but I may as well choose month. And my Y list is the temperature. Okay, and the rest is fine. You can just leave it. Okay, so here it is. Now, I have a look. It's important to notice that our sine function that they're finding is in the form A times sine of BX. So, B times X plus C plus D. This is actually a bit different from what um, the Hayes and Harris book is doing. So, if you have a look at the Hayes and Harris, it's actually in this form here. Y equals A sine B times X minus C. So, B is timesing X and C. And they put a negative in here. And then you have to have plus D. So, the function that you're getting from the calculator is different from the one you're finding manually. Just the form of it mainly inside the brackets. So, our A and D will be the same. Our B is pretty much the same. But our C value is different. So, if you need it in this form, like for a test, use the A, B and D that the calculator has worked out for you. Substitute them into the function and then... Uh, manually figure out C. Okay, so our function is A is 6.29, B is 0 0.525, C is 0 0.967, which is very different from their value of C. If we scroll down, they ended up getting C is 10. Again, it's because of a different form. And the D is 